Hi, this is Nick Haraz of Creative 111, here to bring you a very exciting tutorial on working with the new audio ducking feature inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. This got released on April 3rd. If you're one of the first people to watch this video, welcome and please subscribe to that channel for a ton of more tips on video editing in Premiere Pro, After Effects in terms of motion graphics, and much more. Hopping inside of Premiere Pro, I have a sequence loaded up here called Audio Ducking. And right now I have an interview clip that's on the V1 track and it's audio on the A1 track, followed by some music on A2. And this is how it sounds together. So if I move my playhead just a little bit earlier and press the spacebar, I'm very excited to be sharing my experience with you, as well as what I learned in retrospect after my trip was complete. Let's jump into some of the tips and tricks for making your life easier for traveling with video gear on the next year. So what you can see is that the music is actually overpowering the interview clip. And usually in an edit workflow, what you do, let me actually press the tilde key here in the timeline, is keyframe your audio on the A2 track. This could be a variety of different things. One is if you control click your line here on the decibel line of your audio, you could add a series of four keyframes and essentially get this part of the clip to duck over the interview. Well, this could be a very time consuming process, especially where you have interview clips spread throughout a really long project. I'm just gonna press control Z to undo. And you just want to have the music look at the dialogue that's on a V1 or a V2 track and have it duck whenever a dialogue track comes up. Now, thanks to the Essential Sound panel, this is all made possible and very easy to do. So with my audio clip still selected, I'm gonna actually switch to my audio workspace. And here in the audio workspace, you can see that the Essential Sound panel shows up. For any reason, if it doesn't, you can always go to your window menu and call up the Essential Sound panel. This is a much easier way of working with audio and Premiere in general. But what we wanna do is, first of all, identify this as music, which it has. And you'll see here that there's a section here for ducking. If I enable that section and reveal its properties, we can duck it against several things. Right now I wanna duck it against dialogue, which happens to be this clip right here. You can see here that it is referenced as a dialogue shot when I select it. And with that selected here in the music, I'm gonna duck it by an approximate value of about negative 12 decibels. We'll add just a little bit of a longer fade and have a sensitivity of about seven. And with these default selections, I'm gonna then generate some keyframes on my audio. Now, just to show you what happened, if I actually go back to the timeline, press the tilde key to make it full frame, notice this lovely audio duck that happens right against my clip. Now, if I just sort of play back a little bit of this. I'm very excited to be sharing my experience with you you can see that that audio is indeed ducked. Now, I'm just gonna press the tilde key again, and with this still selected, actually add just a little bit of a less of a sensitivity, add a little bit less of a fade, and reduce this actually by about negative 18.3. I'm gonna generate some keyframes again, and it doesn't necessarily get rid of those previous keyframes, and as you can see, created a new duck over my dialogue track. And let's just play this back in its entirety. I'll press the space bar. I'm very excited to be sharing my experience with you, as well as what I learned in retrospect after my trip was complete. Let's jump into some of the tips and tricks for making your life easier for traveling with video gear on your next shoot. And now you can see that we have a nice duck over the dialogue footage. And this is just gonna become all the more powerful when you have a project that includes 20 interviews of different snippets of people talking. So that's one of several new features in this latest version of the Premiere Pro release, including things for 360 video, for working with markers easily between sequences. I suggest that you check them out for yourself. And of course, hit that subscribe button for Creative 111. We'll have tons of more tips and tricks along the way, as well as a newsletter that you guys can follow. I'm Nick Karaz. Thanks so much for watching.